We're going to go over the rules, and I know you're in kindergarten, so I want you to repeat after me. Sit on my bottom. Sit on my bottom. Oh, I can't hear you. Sit on my bottom. Hands in my lap. Hands in my lap. No talking. No talking. No talking. All right. You guys like plastic bubbles? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to walk around, and I'm going to give you a bubble sheet, and you're going to pop one bubble. How many bubbles are you going to pop? One. Just one. No There you go. Just pinch it with your fingers. Pinch hard. Here you go. Here you There you go. Squeeze it between your fingers and it'll pop. Honey. <laughs> Honey, can you follow your son? Then don't sit by him if he's bothering you. Come sit over here by your teacher. Come on, honey. Pinch it. Pinch it. Pinch it. Pinch it. There you go. Thank you. We're almost done. We almost have all of you. Pinch it hard. Come on, pinch it. Find a bubble that feels a little full of air. There you go. Very nice. Now look up here at the board, boys and girls. I'm going to bring up the same kind of bubbles, but this time they're on the computer. And when you click on it, which I'm going to show you how to do, they pop as well. So what I'm going to do is I have a pen here. And see how it has a flat side, which is orange, and then it has a sharp side? That's what you use to pop these bubbles. And we are going to pop the bubbles with the pen. So these aren't the same as the plastic bubbles. These are virtual bubbles. So let's stand up. Make a line right here in front of me. Make one line. Una mina no más. One line. All right. After you pop the bubble, watch me. With the pen. Oh, great. We lost this. We lost the little... Thing that goes inside of here. That's okay. They gotta have a backup pin. But what I usually do is I switch the pin as they're in line so that it goes faster. So I'm gonna have to look for it so it doesn't get vacuumed up. All right, take this pin and pop a bubble. Get back here. Guys, get back here. Jariah, get behind somebody. All right, go sit down right after you pop it. One bubble. Let me know. All right, look up here. Sit down. 
This is a mouse. It kind of looks like a real mouse because it's got a ta tail. Do you see the tail? Yeah. So sit on your bottom. Your fingers are going to go towards that tail. Now look at my fingers. I'm going to open them. Can you show me that in the air? Open your fingers. Close your fingers. Open. Close. Open. Close. Like open. Now the reason why I want you to do those scissors is I don't want you touching this little roller ball in the middle. That's not what we use to click on. You don't press it. So you... Some kids put their fingers together. Don't do that. Open your fingers. Can you see the roller ball? Yeah. So you should be able to see the roller ball when you're clicking. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to move this arrow, and I'm going to point to the bubble. Now look at my fingers, and I'm just going to go boom with one finger. Sometimes you can use two fingers. And that's how you're going to pop all these bubbles. And I'm going to show you what happens when you get to all the bubbles. It's going to give you a sign that tells you that you finished the bubbles, you won the game. He did the right. The game. Just be patient and you're going to see what happens when we get to the last bubble. You can tell when they're broken because you see little cracks. And the ones that are darker still have the air or the virtual air inside of them. So we can skip over the ones that have already been popped. They have like a cracked appearance. These darker ones still have the, the air inside. I think I've got the bomb. I'm missing one because I didn't get my pop-up sign. That one, that one. Right this here. One. Where? Show me. The right one. Good eye. See? Wow, they've got way better eyes than me because you're younger. Now, see how we got this sign? Now, I want everybody to point to this X. Everybody look at it. Point to it. So I know that you're paying attention. Point to the X. We're going to click on that. Boom. Now you've got more bu bubbles. And you start again. Do you understand? Because it's going to take you a while to do this. You're not going to be as fast as I am. And don't tell me you're done until you see that sign with an X on it. Now, here's another bubble. See this red bubble? Watch what happens. Oh, it made the game go away. And I'm going to explain that to you right now. What does do your mom, does your mom or your dad do when they're driving and they see this? Yeah. What what does it tell them to do? Stop. And what else does it tell them to do? Go. go. Stop and go. What color is go? Green. And what color is the stop? Red. Okay. I want you guys to look right here. Here we have red, yellow, green. So that stop, slow down, go. And look up here. Doesn't that look like the traffic light? Yeah. Stop and go. Actually, these don't do that exactly, but this makes it go down below into the dock. And we don't want that. What we want you to do is learn how to stop the game. So I want you to hold up your hands and show me stop. Hold up both hands like this with your fingers spread out. Now say stop. Stop. Red dot. Red, Red dot. dot. Say it again. Stop. 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 Red dot. Oh, I don't see everybody showing me their hands. Everybody, hold up your hands. Go stop. 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 Red, Red dot. Red dot. Now look Red what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this red dot. See, now notice if, if, if I put my arrow over it, you can see them. Sometimes you can't see them unless you hover or go over them. Now here's the red dot. Boom. Here we go again. When your game is over and it's time to go back to your class, we're going to stop red dot. Just like you pop this bubble, pop that red dot. Watch. See? That's how you close the game. What's the all gray for? This is going to be how you open the game. We're going to put our arrow. Can you guys point to the game? Yeah. Oh, I don't see you looking at it, honey. I see you pointing, but I don't see you looking. Now, everybody, we're going to put our fingers in the air just like I do on the mouse. And we're going to go one, two, three. Can you say that? One, two, three. Did you see how it opened? Now, some kids, I'm watching them, and they just do one click. They go one, and that doesn't open it, does it? No. Oh, you've got to do it three times, or sometimes I even tell them one, two, three, four, five. 
because they're not pressing hard enough. You have to do it harder and faster with your finger. Okay. Yes, can you say harder and faster? Harder and okay, faster. now watch me. Look, I'm going to do it harder and faster because here's what happens when you do it too soft and too slow. Watch. One, two, three. Did it open? No. no. So I've got to press my mouse harder and faster. Watch. One, two, three. One, two, three. And there it goes. I can red dot out one of those. That's This is all I need. So that's open. And this is closing. With we'll stop red dot. Open. One, two, three. Close. So we're opening the game and we're closing the game. That's what you're learning to do today. And the skill that you're learning is how to use a mouse, how to point and click. Point, click. And you click by popping the bubbles. Boys and girls, we're going to do it now, but you need to listen. We have rules in here. We don't run to the computers because we can trip and fall and hit our, ta our head on the table. I've tripped in here and hurt my knees and my back. So you have to be careful that you don't trip over the chairs and stuff. When you're done, boys and girls, look at me. I'm going to show you how to do this. After you close your game or exit the program, you're going to put your headphones up. You're going to push in your chair. chair and look, you're going to stand in front of your chair with your hands down to your side. You're not going to stand on the chair. You're not going to wiggle and make noise. You're just going to stand here and wait to be dismissed. So does everyone understand? Yes. We're not going to run and we're not going to talk on the computers. We are going to walk slowly to our computers. And, and this is how you wake them up. Do you see this long space bar right here? Yeah. If you tap it, that's going to wake up your computer. All right, boys and girls. Or you can click with the mouse a couple of times, move your mouse, and it'll wake up your computer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk slowly without talking or making a fuss and wake up our computers and you're going to look for the bubble game and open it and start popping. Then when it's time to go, boys and girls, we're going to stop red dot. You're going to hear an alarm go off when it's time to stop, okay? All right, let's walk slowly and quietly to our computers.